Welcome to another episode of Air Guns and Pesting Channel. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about moderators. From the shortest one to the tallest one. These are all air gun moderators, 15 of them to be exact. Different styles, different diameters. These are all one half 20. They come in other barrel sizes, tread size, you know, size on the end of the barrel, depending on your air gun, depending on the manufacturer. This is my test mule. This is a hot sound Vectis 2 tool, and without a moderator, it sounds like a 22 Ren fire. So, this would be a perfect platform, in my opinion, to use. Now, I have a platform tripod that I've got this uh, eBay uh, decibel reader, and yes, there's plenty of other decibel readers out there, but this is the one I chose, and it's the one I'm I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna mount it in a way or close to the air gun that I can read it and hopefully you guys can see it, but I will, what I'll do is uh, do two shots each on each of the moderators and read off the numbers and then log it on a piece of paper and then review it at the end of the video, towards the end of the video the results of what the numbers are saying. This is, this subject here is subjective to how far you put it back, you know, so forth and so on. I don't buy any of that, that hogwash, in my opinion. Whatever the meter reads is what it reads. And in my ears, I could tell the difference when I shoot it, whether it's lower than the one before it that I tested, etc., etc. So that's how I'm going to test it, and that's my method that I'm going to use. So sorry if it hurts other folks' feelings, but it is what it is. Now, on camera, it's subjected to the microphone of the recording device, which is my iPhone. And for you folks out there to hear it on your end might be a lot different than what I'm hearing live on my end. That's why we use this decibel reader. That tells you the numbers and what the decibel is reading that for that particular moderator. With that being said, I'm gonna discuss each and every one of these, give you the length, give you the weight, give you some information that, from what I uh, know of, of this particular, what a particular moderator I'm talking about. Now I may have missed some certain parts about it, you know, the moderator, but I'm doing the best I can for what I have. I'm not this, these professional uh, guys that have, you know, equipment that's in the thousand dollar ranges, you know. I'm just a ordinary guy, just like you, you guys and gals out there. So, that's the way it is. Now, before I start talking about each and every one of these moderators, I'm gonna pull this particular one out right here from Buck Rail, okay? And I did a video the other day and had a brain fart on the owner, designer, developer of this particular moderator. I mentioned his name was Bobby. Well, brain fart, his name is not Bobby. Maybe, uh, maybe it looks like a Bobby. I don't know. Laugh out loud. But his actual name is, is Terry. And hey, uh, Terry, if you're looking at this video... Hey, you know, I'm only human and, you know, humans do make mistakes and, and for some reason I thought your name was Bobby when it's supposed to have been Terry. 
So Terry is the actual guy. So kudos goes out to, to uh, Terry, the owner of Buck Rail. And uh, my apologies to you, sir. You do make a fine uh, moderator, but that is going to be under review and test against some of these other moderators. So with that being said, let's start out the review with the shortest and that's the Donny FL Tatsu. This is one of my favorites only because I like the shorter moderators for being compact. You know, who wants a eight plus inch moderator hanging out the end of their barrel? Well, I don't really, but you know, in some, some cases, you know, certain guns you know short guns you want to add a little length to it if you will then yeah it, it'll it'll work but me i like the the more compact moderators as long as they quiet the bark down because all these moderators are actually being used and just want to point out to you that I do a lot of farm permissions, do a lot of pest control on the farms, and gotta be quiet, or at least lower the decibels down out of your air guns as to not startle the cattle or pest birds out there, you know, when they try to fly away and stuff, you know, you wanna be, be very quiet. So moderators are very important for me and for others you know, if you live in a residential area, you want your air rifle, your air gun to be quiet so that it doesn't disturb your neighbors. So, this one here, very nice design. Made in America, out of Florida. I did say all these are half by 20. Very nice design on these. The end caps do unscrew for maintenance. Very nice. This one, this is one of my favorites. Atatsu. Next to it, this is the fattest one. Let's back up. Donnie FL is four and a quarter inches, four and a quarter inches long and weighs in at 4.25 ounces. Next up is another Dunny FL, fat boy. As you can tell, this is my fattest one I have, diameter wise, laugh out loud. And these uh, inserts here on the end of the can itself, end of the moderator can be changed out from 177. This one is at 2225 all the way up to a 30 caliber. That's what's nice about uh, Donny FL products that he has them in different calibers for different calibers. Very nice. Look at that. The ends, the end caps come off. There's an extension that you can put on the end of this for uh, a high power gun with a lot of volume to help quiet the bark. Very nice design, very nice uh, logo that Donnie puts on his guns for moderators. Up next, keep forgetting, this is four and a quarter, 6.95 ounces. Up next is the Impulse Air IA1200. I just recently uh, received this. Very, very nice. This is also made in America and Idaho. And these uh, these sections, these are sectional, they unscrew. And they come in different colors. And you keep you can keep adding more sections to this if you require more hushing effect to your gun to make it more quieter. You can keep adding sections to it. 
very nice design. Very light, very, all aluminum. The Donnie FLs are all aluminum as well. I did, I did not mention that. And this one comes in at 4.4 4 and 5 eighths inches long and 3.45 ounces. Very nice, very nice. From Impulse Air. Up next is the Hugga Belita Belita. Now, back to the Impulse. This goes, they go all the way from 177 up to 25, but my understanding they're coming out with a 30 or 30 caliber. The Hugga Belita goes all the way up to 25 caliber. 177 all the way to 25 caliber. This is uh, folks across the pond over in England. And this one is four and five eighths and 3.4 ounces. Comes in a variety of different colors. All these um, monitors I'm talking about, with the exception of one, let's see, one, two, three of them, these three right here, do not have websites. For their moderators. This is the one from Philippines, Joe, two, Two gun, two gun, half by twenty moderator, uh, viral, the viral moderator, and the zebraia moderator. Okay, you get back in line there. Now, okay, the. Tanto, another one of uh, my favorite ones, made by Donnie FL. It's five inches long, 3.6 ounces, unique design. Both ends unscrew for uh, maintenance. Very nice moderator. Also made in America. Then we have the plastics, or 3D printed. This one is Aragon Capitals half by 20. And this is the lightest one in the whole bunch at 1.35 ounces, six and seven eighth inches long Honeycomb design on the outside, 3D printed, 177 and 22 calibers. Did a review on this particular one. What I don't like about 3D printed moderators, with exception of one of them, which I'll talk a little bit later. And that is the half by 20 threads. If you leave them on, that's one thing. But if you're like me, who likes to transfer them from gun to gun, not such a good idea because you can easily cross thread it. That's the only problem that I have with the 3D printed moderators. But for the most part, they do work. And if you're on a budget and need some kind of moderation, well, can't go wrong with uh, 3D printed moderators. Up next is the Bison Puff Daddy. I always think of uh, Puff Daddy as uh, the, the singer, but it's actually Bison Poof Daddy. And uh, here it is. Neat design. He's got his uh, logo on the, on the moderator, the Poof Daddy. Again, same thing. 
you have to be careful with uh, screwing them on and off, but if you're leaving them permanently, you know, then that's not a problem. Now, this one is six and one eighth inches long and weighs in at 3.90 ounces. Not 3.90 ounces. Up next is, oh, and this is for like 17722 and I believe he, he makes it up to 25. But I know 177 and 22. Up next is uh, Joe T. T. Uh, T. Go down. T. Go on. Sorry for pronouncing wrong. Your, your last name wrong there. Joe Tuganon from the uh, Philippines. I picked this up from him when I was in the Philippines. Yeah. Three, four years back. Works wonderful. This is the heaviest one in the bunch. Six and a quarter inches long, 7.15 ounces. It's got a little bit of weight to it, you know, but it does quiet the bark down enough to, um, you know, make a difference. One thing I'm sure you guys and gals know, but if you don't know, uh, trying to paint aluminum does not aluminum paint does not aluminum aluminum canister and spray paint don't mix as you can see it, it peels off very easily just it's just one of those things so i have to constantly spray paint it you know but otherwise from that hey it does work it is a it is a uh, moderator and this one is made for a 2-2 you can use it on a 177 it does work up next here is my uh, favorite 3d printed moderator and that's the buck rail buck rails uh, moderator one half 20 this one is six and a quarter inches long 2.25 ounces and what I like about this is well it's got the honeycomb design similar to uh, the honeycomb design of this one right here the air gun capital one but what makes this one stand out over the air gun capital is Terry came up with a brilliant idea and he installed a half by 20 thread adapter metal thread adapter that screws right in so it's all metal right in there and that is brilliant how he did that so now is it light you can unscrew it as many times as you want and transfer from air gun to air gun so that's pretty good. This is the uh, second lightest one of the bunch right here. Second lightest one of the bunch right here. Not bad. Also made in America, Texas. Go back to this one. Philippines, this one is made in the Philippines. Okay, uh, goofed off a little bit here. This one is made over in, in America, over in West Virginia. America. Got to mention this one. This one is uh, made in America or down in Florida. Got to mention that. Okay. Moving forward, we got the zero DB from the folks over in England, and this one goes all the way up to uh, from 177 all the way up to 30 caliber. Nice design. You can get it in different colors. 
this one is six and three eighths and 4.5 zero ounces. There you go. This one can, looks like you can take apart for maintenance. Oh, I forgot to mention too that Joe, to go on is moderator can come apart too. Forgot to mention that for maintenance. Some of these others, like the 3D printed ones, they don't come apart. There is no maintenance to them. It is what it is. Okay, next up is the UMA MOD30. They make uh, their uh, moderators from 177 all the way up to 25 caliber. And this is sectional, so you, you can add more sections to it if you want. Now, I use this particular one. I take off one section of this, and I add it. I use it on my PP750, what I use this for. Made in the Netherlands. They do come apart for uh, easy maintenance. And that one measures six and a half inches, seven ounces. The second heaviest one. Next up is the TKO. Made over in Nebraska. He's got a covering on it, like a wrap, carbon fiber wrap, plastic and aluminum, 177 to 22. This one is six and three quarters inches long and weighs in at 2.85 ounces. There you have it. Another America made. Next up is the Viral Moderator. The German writing here on there. I know this end cap unscrews. I've had it off before. This one is seven and three quarters inches long, 4.5 ounces. So we get into, now we're getting into the longer ones, guys and gals. Next up, we have the Zebroia. This end unscrews, so the other end for maintenance. Aluminum construction, eight inches long, 5.5 5 ounces. Last but, but not least is the Wolf. You cannot, you cannot take it apart. And they make this from 177 all the way up to 30 cal. The longest one of the bunch. At eight and a quarter and weight is 6.25 ounces. There you have it, folks. There's a, that's all the spec, specifications. We'll get to uh, the testing. Welcome to the episode, Air Guns and Testing Channel, and today is the day. Yeah. I test out 15 moderators from 15 different manufacturers. The test mule is a Hotson Vectus Chamber in 2-2. I'm using Crossman domes for the ammunition. 
how I'm going to do it. And again, this is uh, my method of testing. I'm sure there's uh, other people have different methods of testing, but this is my method I'm going to use. I'm going to give you two shots with no moderator. Record it. Both shots on what the DB meter reads. Then I'll do two for each of the different moderators. Now, if there's a draw, that means that that's pretty good, pretty consistent. But if uh, a particular moderator comes up with a different reading, then I'll, I'll shoot a third time to get an average to make sure that the readings are the same. So that's my method. I'm going to use this uh, moderator testing is subjective. So this is my version. So let's, let's see what happens here. All right, this is with no moderator. Eighty-three. Eighty-five. One more time. Eighty-five. Okay. First up. From left to right. Shortest to longest. Donnie F. L. Tatsu. There you go. Seventy nine, eighty three. One more time, eighty three. Up next, Don Anfield Fat Boy. Here we go. Eighty two. Eighty two. Up next, Impulse Air IA twelve hundred. Eighty-one. Eighty-two. Eighty-two. Up next. Hug it. Alita. Eighty one. Eighty two. Up next, Donnie F. L. Tonto. Eighty two. Eighty three. Eighty three. Up next, Aragon Capital one half twenty. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Up next, Bison Hoof 
daddy. Eighty four. Out of ammo. Got to reload. Okay, here we go. 84. This is Joe Tiguan. One half 20. Made in Philippines. Here we go. Here we go. Oop. 82. 82. Up next, Buck Rail, one half twenty. Eighty three. I didn't see that one. All right. 82. Okay, one more. 83. 83. Up next, zero DB. Eighty one. Eighty. Eighty. Next, Uma M M O D or Mod Forty. Here we go. Eighty. Eighty one. Eighty. Up next, TKO. Eighty two. Eighty two. Up next. Viral. All right. Eighty. Eighty. Up next, Zebroya. Eighty. Eighty. Last but not least, Wolf. Eighty three. Eighty three. And there you have it, folks. I will do a conclusion and my thoughts. And these are just my opinions very shortly. 
Okay, so after tallying everything up, here's what it looks like. 85, the decimal reading of 85 with the Hassan vectors with no moderator yielded a number 80, a decibel 85. That is the loudest, like rim fire loud. Second loudest after I uh, screwed on the moderator at 84, the air gun capital, followed by Bison Poof Daddy. Both score 84 on the decibel meter. Next loudest at 83 was the DFL, Donny FL Tatsu followed by the Donny FL Tonto, followed by Buck Rail, one half 20, followed by the Wolf Moderator, score to 83. Okay, 82 decibels goes to Fat Boy, Donny FL Fat Boy, followed by Impulse Air, IA-1200, I'm going by shortest to tallest, okay? Followed by the Hugget Malita, followed by Joe Tiguan, followed by TKO, and that was at 82. The quietest bunch goes to 80 decibels, which is zero BD, followed by UMA uh, MOD or MOD 30, followed by the Viral, and then Zebroia. These four was the quietest, <coughs> excuse me. There you have it. I'm gonna get more uh, manufacturers that you know might want to do. Uh, I can do another one later on. Reach out to uh, some of these uh, moderator manufacturers to see if they would be interested in partaking in another moderator test. Hopefully, in the near future, I can do another one. But there you have it. Based on those numbers, now I can choose which moderator to use. It doesn't matter which one I use, whether it's the loudest one or the quietest one. If I switch out moder moderators, the scope will have to be re zero for that particular moderator. I did not want to do a POI test because What's the sense in doing that? Because each and every one of these are gonna have a, a shift in POI. Doesn't mean that they're a bad moderator, it's just how the air exit out the moderator affects the pellet as well as it exits uh, the moderator and onto the target. So I have a list now that I can go by to determine which moderator I want to use for which gun. See, the problem is here, you know, is this gun obviously is it's around a 24 foot pound uh, air gun. Uh, if this was tuned down to say 12 foot pounds or, or less, well, the numbers here will reflect that on the decibel meter reading. So if you got a high power PCP, obviously trying to use like the shorter moderators that have very little and as far as uh, quieting factors, less baffles to help 
quiet the bark. If you got a PCP that's pushing, say, 80, 90 foot pounds, well, Tonto is not gonna uh, quiet the gun down. You gotta go with something like a bigger one like this uh, Fat Boy with their uh, accessories you can buy with the Fat Boy. Add another whole section like, let me show you this one for example, this section right here can be added on to the Fat Boy like that. See? Another whole another section to help quiet that bark. And that's what I'm gonna use on my impact is this fat boy because it's got a larger chamber here to help with the sound dampening. In theory, that's what I'm thinking. Or again, man, the fat boy may not work out, and I have to go with one of these uh, ones here. To, the quiet, the quietest one, like the Uma Mod 30 or the Lyrao or the Zebroia. You know, calm down my uh, my impact. But there you have it, folks. You know, the prices vary. Of course, the sizes vary, as I tried to show you. As far as also the diameter of them. There's different shapes, styles. They all moderate to a certain point. And of course, you know, the more pricier the moderator is, supposedly, the better the moderation, you know, on the quieting your gun down. But sharing, okay, that's it for me for now. Sharing is caring. Stay safe, shoot straight, and may your pellet or slug hit his target. See you on the next episode of Air Guns and Pesting Channel. See you.